Hi there, this is David. Are you looking for a fun, short RPG with very quick battles, yet challenging? Are you looking for a game that has a lot of really funny dialogue and is just extraordinarily unique? Well then come and join me for Let's Play Great Greed, released in 1992 for the Game Boy. Being a game released in 1992, it is kind of um, archaic, and one of the problems with it is that everything is in all caps. So I'm going to name my character in all caps as well, because if you don't, it just kind of looks odd having his name in lowercase. Um, it would be the only thing in the entire game in lowercase, so it's kind of a Secret of the Stars problem. Oh, what's going on here? Huh, they threw us right into the fray! And I'm not controlling the, the uh, dialogue here, the game is doing that itself. This is, I guess, uh, Great Greed's version of a cutscene. Yeah, this is what we got in 1992. Definitely my childhood here. I was 10 years old whenever this released. I actually never beat it, though. I got pretty far and I played it multiple times. But there was a certain mountain dungeon that I could just never get past. Oh, we're in the human world. Okay. Hey there. Acid rain? Yeah, this is kind of a environmental tale. Okay, well, see ya. I guess that that's our father. I'm not entirely sure who that is, actually. Whoa! It's that woman from before. Microwave. Screw her! Let's get on out of this forest. Oh, we can't. How did we ever get into this forest in the first place? How strange. I wonder what happens if we go this way and we try to, uh, check on daddy -o. Let's see. Is he anywhere to be found? Hmm. And also, the music is gone, too. Yeah. Huh. He just vanished. We're just stuck here. How unusual. Oh, well. So, yeah, in order to actually move along with the plot, we have to go and check on Microwave. Oh, uh, you're in the human world. Whoa! Yikes! It's the hunter! Because he's hunting her. Yeah, the name and conventions in here are kind of odd. Whoa! Try it! Of course we'll warp again! Whoa! Yikes! Oh, well, I'm screwed now. Where am I at? The Island of Royal Refuge? Hey there. Uh, sure. So at this point, we actually get a new sprite. It's kind of like in Dragon Warrior, whenever you rescue the princess and you get a new sprite, you know, whenever you're carrying her. It's the same sort of deal here. So, it's kind of cool. Unfortunately, she doesn't actually start as a party member, so if you check party, normally we get some sort of party chat, but that doesn't happen. Also, notice this mountain right here for later. There's nothing there. Anyway, let's head on inside. She said to take her to the forest. I imagine these are cannons or something. Hey there, lady. If you tried to come here without microwave on your back, there would just be some guards. And the guards would say, literally, they would say, go away. <laughs> that's, that's all they would say. You couldn't move on. Okay. Something that you might notice in this game. Just about everyone is named after food. From Princess Candy to Microwave. Um, yeah, I'm just a human. I'm a victim! Yeah, could you take me back, like, now? You lost your power! Seriously? Why does this kind of stuff always happen to me? To the Burger Castle, and retrieve the magic book. Okay, so the magic book will break her curse, and then I can go back home. But unfortunately, Biohaz is... Or has taken control of Burger Castle. Hmm. That kind of sucks. Oh, well, nice to meet you. Okay. 
Oh, really? So Microwave is trying to stop Biohaz by going to the human world because the source of his power is there. Huh. Okay, so let's go ahead and check out Candy, who is actually a member of your party, with our party chat. Very nice. And it tells you how much experience you need to get to the next level as well. Oh, that's nice. Your sisters and your items can be attached to the collar. <laughs> like, what? Are you going to put your sisters inside the collar? Like, I don't understand how that works. What it's really trying to say is my sister's items can get attached to the collar. Yeah. Move it, dog. Bye, girl. See ya. Can we just leave? It's dangerous to go alone. No, we can't leave. Oh well, let's head on in here. You actually have to go in here. If you don't, you'll get turned away by a guard later on. Lunchbox. Okay, the chief of the bodyguards. And your name is Time Out. I don't know what that has to do with food, but sure, whatever. He's like one of the few people who aren't, who isn't named after food, oddly enough. Can we go in here? Oh. Okay. So I guess that's a no. Let's just go inside the throne room. If you try to go here without going and talking to the other people first, then there would be a guard that would say, hey, go talk to the uh, guards or the people or whoever. Yeah, it's kind of all your fault. Oh, okay, I didn't realize it was that easy. You mean I don't have to go to Burger Castle and I don't have to get the magic book? Sounds good to me. Really? You're kind of useless, Candy. Yeah, her younger sisters are working hard. They're much, much more useful than she'll ever be. Oh. Guess he has a point. You know, air and a spare and all that. Oh no! Bio has his back! Holy crap! Yikes! Yeah, protect me! I'm shocked. I actually get protection? The princess is going to protect me? Who knew? I'll do my best. Let's get out of here. Let's run away. Whoa. Yikes. Oh, it's Hunter again. For our first battle of the game against Grimlight. Okay, battles in this game are very quick, and they work very differently than battles in most games. Uh, basically, what you do is, instead of choosing from a menu, you just hit various buttons. If you hit the B button, you can dodge. And um, sometimes your partner, in this case Candy, will assist you. If she does assist you, she will raise your defense. So I'm just going to see your dodge and just show you how it works right there. You just keep on dodging. No damage will happen. Sometimes, and I'll show you later, if you dodge, an enemy will actually like run off the screen. If you hit one of the directional buttons, up, down, left, or right, you can cast magic spells. But I don't have any magic spells, so let's just attack. And you just trade blows, just hit the A button in order to attack, and you'll be fine. You literally cannot lose this battle. And a nice thing about whenever you gain levels is, um... All of your HP and MP gets restored. And Candy is kind of a bitch. Like, these people died for her, and she just says, how lame. Like, what's your problem? Oh, the doggy died! Oh, That's horrible. So his body vanished, and all that's left was his collar? Okay. Well, now we have his collar, so that's kind of nice. Um, shouldn't you be worried about me? Wasn't I supposed to go to a safe place? Really? Huh, so humans are much more powerful than people in this world. Oh, um, probably. The land of sushi. Okay. Yeah, we've got to escape. Get your weapons ready! Okay, yeah. I know how to equip weapons. This isn't my first time at the rodeo. 
Yeah, and I'll go over what she's talking about whenever it comes time to equip magic and, equ and equipped equipment and all that kind of stuff. Okay, if humans possess powers more powerful than everybody else in the world, and these are like the most powerful people in the world, shouldn't we all just go together? Shouldn't like Lunchbox and Time Out and Microwave and all of them come with me? Like I could just get a party right now, that would be great. But that isn't how it works. Anyway, let's go ahead and ransack everything. Okay, perfect. Now let's go ahead and uh, look at what we have here. So we're already equipped with this stuff, you can tell by the asterisk, but let's go ahead and equip all this other junk that we just got. And I don't even know why they bother giving you this, this stuff, because like we're getting upgrades right now, and it's much better than everything that I just had. We also got a magic scroll, the heal scroll. And uh, you can use it as an item, and it would just heal you. It costs 2 MP to heal about 50 HP. But I want to go ahead and equip it. And it says here that heal magic can only go on the bottom. So in um, these other spots, you can put attack magic, effect magic, that sort of stuff. But for heal magic, you can only place it in the bottom slot. So I'll go ahead and do that. Let's go miscellaneous. Nothing! Status. That's self-explanatory. And party has our party talk, along with how much experience we need to get up to the next level. But apparently, all we can do is go to the Sushi Nation. So, let's get on out of here. I guess everybody else just died, and so much for those cannons. Man. Oh look! A cave has appeared! Huh! How unusual! And with caves appearing... Monsters and random encounters will also appear. But all that we have in here are roaches, and roaches only give one experience and eight gold. However, I only need to defeat four of them to get up to the next level. And all you really need to do to defeat them is just attack them. You can one-shot them, and the battles are so quick, I feel no reason to, um, to edit them out or skip them or anything else like that. Woohoo! Sweet! Yeah, I'm gaining levels like mad! I'm getting encounters like mad, too. My first time through here, I actually only encountered three roaches, and I didn't even gain a level. But now I'm encountering, like, a ton of them. Man. But that's fine. I'm going to need plenty of gold, uh, pretty soon. What is going on with these encounters? Holy crap, it's like double the amount of encounters that I had the first time around. Well, what is it? You're just gonna leave me? Why can't I just head for Burger right now? Isn't that where I have to go to? Do I have to go through every single nation in the world before I get to Burger? Yes. Yes, I do. And we have a dog collar on our wrist. That's lovely. One thing to keep in mind. Once you leave a nation, you can never go back to it. We have left the nation of Royal Refuge, I guess. And now we've entered the nation of Sushi, so we can't go back. The underwater cave is closed, and we're completely screwed. So let's head inside and explore. Oh, does this port village have a name? No, it actually doesn't. Oh, okay. Here we have a weapon shop, uh, but it just sells all the stuff that we already got, so there's no reason to purchase anything, but we might as well go ahead and sell the stuff that we started off with. It's not really worth any money, but it's always good to clear up inventory space. Have I? Oh, I already did talk to you. This is a magic shop, and uh, let's talk to this guy first. Herbal, the disposable book on recuperation. Basically, herbal is an item. I don't know why he calls it herbal here, because it's actually called med. And uh, basically, med 1 has 10 uses, and it costs 50 gold, so that's how it's set up here. Flame is an offensive spell, costs 200 gold, and we already have heal. It's all too expensive for us, so I see no reason to purchase any of that. And we'll get plenty of med 1s and treasure throughout our adventure. Shishkaberg. Okay. I guess we'll have to go there next. Do you have anything else to say? Get over here. Seven nations? And you gotta go through all seven of them. That's fine, though. 
Huh. You mean it's polluted? Could this be an environmental political tale? Oh, an election. Could one mayor be pro-environment and the other mayor be anti-environment? Hmm. Okay. Can't leave here because there's no ships. That's lovely. I don't care about cute girls. And this is uh, the, the building with lantern is an inn. All inns cost 15 gold to stay. They're not going to, like, screw you over with um, more expensive inns later on in the game. But what awaits us in Shishkaburg? Find out next time on Let's Play Great Greed. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a good day.